Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera. Good morning in this Monday morning, November 26th, I think. I think it's November 26th. I've lost track. Uh, so good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me this morning for this live color along. We are coloring today with markers and a white pen. And I actually use a correction pen. So we're going to get into that about what we're using. I'll be using Crayola Super Tips today. I have a lot to talk about today in today's color along meeting as we have started to call them. Um, I've got swatch pages. I have a brand new set of colored pencils that I am in love with. My heart is beating for them. And I'm gonna show you what those are and uh, talk about what's, what's about what's to come and what will be coming up with those uh, awesome pencils. So before we get started, let me say good morning to everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to Holly. Hey, Abby. Hey, Chris. Hey, Sarah. Good morning, Alexandria. Julie Morris. Rose has joined us. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to Shanna. Hey, Shanna, how are you today? Good morning, Abby. Chris, um, Chris is saying hello to me. Oh, Martha's here. Oh, hello, Martha. Uh, who else? Scarlett and Paisley are saying hello to everyone. Hey, Bonnie Miller. Who else is here with us this morning? Uh, let me look, let me look, let me look. Good morning, Jason, or good afternoon, I should say, to our friend Jason from across the pond. Uh, Miriam McCarthy's joined us, my new friend that I just met this morning, who's kind of a, lives close to me. No one ever lives close to me. No one ever lives in, lives in my neck of the woods. Um, so good to meet you, Marianne. Hope you enjoy the show today or enjoy the color along today. Feel free to comment as we're going along, ask questions. Um, so if you've never um, attended a live color along, uh, Hey, Cheryl Waters, a live call along is, is that just that. It's live. It's live here. Uh, I have my dogs with me, so anything can happen. The phone can ring. Rachel from Card Services can give us a call. Uh, Gloria from the cruise place uh, could call us. The dogs are in the background. That's right, Marianne. The dogs are, back, are, back, are in the background. Scarlett and Paisley are my English setters, and they are hanging out in the background. They usually settle down as we get going, but uh, Scarlett is very excited today because today is Scarlett's day. So my dogs have their own coloring book and Scarlet View is the page we're using today from Color Along Volume 10, right Scarlet? And today's uh, coloring page can be found in Color Along Volume 10 and it's from Scarlet's View. And Scarlet's View is a coloring book that I created based on, um, hey Adriana, based on Scarlet's, what Scarlet sees when she sits at the window. Hey buddy. Uh, when she sits at the window because she's extremely nosy. So she's probably the nosiest dog I've ever met in my life. And she hangs out by the window. She's done it ever since she was a puppy. Uh, let me just adjust this camera a little bit. Um, she's done it ever since she was a puppy and she just kind of hangs at the window and this is everything that she sees uh, out the window. So um, we're gonna take a look at this book. I'll do a flip through of this book today. That's one thing we're doing. I'm coloring with Crayola. Leaf Blower Man may may show up. Exactly. Heather's saying that Leaf Blower Man, this guy that lives next door to me, who is obsessed with the Leaf Blower. Hey, Carol. Carol knows about Leaf Blower Man. Um, and he just drives us crazy. And so there may be noise. So sometimes there's noise. The phone could ring. The doorbell could ring. The dog could bark. I, I don't know. It's just raw. It's live. So we embrace the craziness. Hey, Diana. So... We've got a lot happening this morning. We've got uh, coloring with markers and a white pen. I'm using this uh, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree store find because I just love the Dollar Tree. Don't you love the Dollar Tree? It's like the coolest store in America. Hey, Candace, um, this is a jot correction pen, and I use this to embellish or to enhance my coloring pages. And it's liquid. You can hear it. You've got to shake it up. And you kind of have to squeeze it when you use it. But you can use any... Um, any page, Abby's saying, if not, we will miss him, not, right? Um, I'm also using Crayola Super Tips, um, which here's a, a sample of one of the markers, Crayola Super Tips. I always put a page behind my coloring page uh, because it's an incredible bleed through. Hey, Alexandria, incredible, hey, Mamie, incredible bleed, bleed through with Crayola Super Tips. I'll be swatching my colors in my coloring page color chart book, like we do every color along, so... Um, there's places to swatch your colors, so I'll be doing that. The other thing that we'll be doing today is we will be swatching a few colors from uh, in my colorist swatch journal. This is a little bit different than the other book. Um, this is just to kind of swatch all your colors. So it has a place for your product name. You can swatch all your colors. And then it has a spot for... Um, this is my terrible copy of this book, too. Isn't that awful? This is what happens. This is what happens when you have your eyes closed when you're designing coloring books, I guess. 
Um, this has a place to create color palettes. So maybe you might want to know, hey, what does pink, blue, and red look like together? Do I like how that looks together? You can use these color palette uh, pages, not just for coloring, but for designing your home, maybe buying furniture, maybe wondering, will those brown curtains look good with my blue couch? I'm not so sure. So, um, and then it's got these color chart pages here, uh, just like the other book. But this coloring page color chart book is what I'm working with today. So... Here is my most exciting news. We gotta just get that out of the way first. And I'm gonna come back to this, of course. Um, I just had these delivered, um, Spira Farben colored pencils. I just had these delivered yesterday. These were sent to me by the Spira Farben people. And um, I'm in love. I mean, I'm, I'm not in love with them any, I'm not saying that they're going to replace anything, but they're just unique. Just like every person is unique, every colored pencil is unique unto itself, right? So um, we're gonna take a look at these. They come in this beautiful, I mean, in love, beautiful metal tin with this wonderful painting on here by a uh, famous artist, uh, Alfred Sisley. And there's a little, um, uh, a little um a little blurb about him right there and then it has this wonderful little uh paper that comes with it with information from tanya who is the person who creates these pencils with this piece of tissue paper which makes it look like fine chocolate but it's not and then here are the pencils there's 72 pencils hey melody 72 pencils in this box heather's agreeing with me they're nice pencils do you have these heather who has these those color swatch books are a good idea i need to see if i can find a similar book why do you need a similar book jason why don't you get these? These are my books. I have these. These are on Amazon. I have these on my website. You can print them. You can get a PDF. Um, you can't get these books where you are. Um, so these have 72 um, pencils. <clears throat> Give it some more light. And each pencil has um, the the color of the pencil on like half of it. Look at that. That's that's a good idea actually. It has the name of the pencil, which is the name of the color. This one is called Flamingo Pink. And then it has a number. Um, they're oil-based colored pencils, which is a little different. They're extremely creamy. People have been asking me, what would you compare these to? I would compare them to Faber-Castell Polychromos. I would not compare them to a Prismacolor. I would not compare them to a Black Widow. Black Widow is a soft car pencil and they're very creamy and I love, love, love all Black Widow pencils, Spider, Scorpion, and Cobra. I love them. I use them all the time and I think it's a fantastic pencil. These are just different. They're totally different. So I love them equally. Um, the names of the of the, of the colors are new. That's something new that they've done. And if you go to the Spare Farb and Facebook page, you can see a chart that has all of that information on it. Um, Sarah is saying, I told you about them after Chris, last Christmas when I got them. You did, Sarah. And they were out of stock for a long time. And they just recently came back in stock. So here's some more, another, the, the other layer of pencils, the other row. And then here's another row here. So here's what's exciting about these pencils is that um, these pencils were sent to me. And I'm going to be using, using them actually this coming Friday during Dawn Boyer's Color Along. I'm pulling a page from Dawn Boyer's. Uh, fairy Houses and Fairy Doors, Volume 5, on Friday. And um, I'll be using these pencils on that day. The other thing that will be happening this week is a giveaway of these pencils will be posted. So you'll have a chance to win a set of this 72-piece uh, pencil set. So uh, that's exciting news about them. And you'll get to see them in action while I'm using them. I'm going to swatch a few of them today while we're together. Um, but the other part that's extremely exciting is that if you sign up for Coloring Camp, Coloring Camp is going to have five days of giveaways. They're going to have a chance to win five different uh, coloring products or day, to have five days where you can win something, win a coloring product. So on uh, during Coloring Camp, if you sign up, I'm going to see why Paisley's crying. Paisley, what's the problem? She's not answering me. Okay. So... Um, during coloring camp, you would be able to win a set of, two people will win a set of these Spera Farben pencils. They'll be part of the giveaway. Someone else will be able to win a set of uh, Black Widows, the new Black Widows. Uh, you need to refresh, Bonnie. And then, um, what else is happening? There'll be more giveaways, too. So that is what's happening with coloring camp. So you can go ahead and sign up for coloring camp. Um, it's happening, it's happening, coloring camp. And it's on January 20th to the 26th. I don't know why this is stuck. Whew. This is a page that I colored from Scarlet's View. Pa Scarlet, Paisley, what's wrong? 
We have a dog situation going on back here. Try refreshing. I don't know why that happens. I gotta get frozen something. Okay, Faisal, okay? What happened? Here. Come on, Faisal. Come on, Faisal. Come on, I didn't mean to leave. Sorry about that, but dog business called my name. Okay, they're okay now. Whew. Crazy dogs. Um, She needs a hug. Maybe she did need a hug. I don't know what she needed. But she, she thought that she had to go outside, but nothing happened. It was a false alarm. Um, I can't wait till camp either. Tether, I can't wait till camp. It's going to be very, very exciting. We have a lot happening, a lot of different things happening. Um, I thought I ordered my book, and I didn't because I've lost my mind, apparently. So I did order my book finally, and I guess it'll be good this week. I don't even know. Um, it's because, MK, hey, how are, you, how are you doing? It's because of the pin message, I think. It prevents the new posts from pop up if they should. Good, I'm going to unpin it. Okay, I unpinned that post. That's a pain in the neck, isn't it? It is a little annoying. I agree. Thank you, MK. I didn't realize that. Okay, so this book, let's flip through this book quickly before we begin coloring. Um, it's set up so every page looks like we're looking out the window. So here are the curtains. And then this is what she's looking at. And this one, she's looking at bees. And she really does spend a lot of time at the window, believe me. Sometimes I have to, um, sometimes I have to actually pull the shade down so I can say, okay, enough. We, we can't look out the window. Bonnie's saying refresh does not work for this. This only happens on Ann's page. Can you watch it in the, um, can you watch it? It looks like it's on fast forward, to be honest with you. Um, can you watch it in the Color Along 10 group, Color Along Volume 10 group, or on the um, Just Color group, and it won't do that? I don't know. Heather got her book. Awesome. So the Coloring Camp book is cool this time because this is our third Coloring Camp. Can you believe it's the third one? Third coloring camp, and we meet for a week um, in a private Facebook group. And every day at 10 a.m. we Eastern time, we have a coloring tutorial. Um, Marianne's saying it's working fine now. Maybe it's just crazy Facebook world, or maybe unpinning the post helped. That might have been. And uh, we meet inside a private Facebook group. We do live coloring tutorials each day. We have a week long color color together. We have a week a daily. Um, activity we what else do we do we chat right we do crazy things it's coloring camp is a lot of fun there's activity pages in the coloring camp book and this coloring camp there's two copies of every page so that you could uh practice twice you can color twice if you wanted to with the different techniques that we're going to be learning or you can have a friend come over and hang out with you um the other part is that um the pages were drawn exclusively for camp so usually it is that I kind of uh, put pages from all of my other different books, like I do with the Color Among books. Um, I'm going to tell you, the reason why I do that with those Color Among books is because it's it's my way to sell my other books. I'm going to be right up front and honest with you, is that we do that with the coloring books. The coloring tutorial comes with the book, so you can buy Color Along Volume 10 and send me a receipt of your book, a proof of purchase, or picture of the book, whatever that might be. And I add you to a private group. And in that private group, you kind of get some different perks. We have some, you know, Color Along Volume 10, someone said to me, it's kind of like a little camp. It kind of is. It's getting, we have some more information that, be, that is added each day. Um, some information about different products. And some little blurbs about what we do. What we do each time during camp. And so then there's two copies of every page throughout this book. So take a look at this book. This book is available on Amazon, um, and it is um, available on my website as a PDF. It has 24 pages to color, and there are two copies of every page. So you can all my books have two copies of every page. Hey, Shanna. Hey, Beth. So we're going to get started on this page. 
Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is set up my swatch page. And the way this works is, let me find a pen. Always, always kind of odd, odd to find a pen. So today we're using Scarlet's View. And it's in color long volume 10. And then I would put my name here because I am the artist of the book. So you can use this with any book. You don't have to use this with just my books. And then the product name I'm using today are Crayola Super Tips. And we also have a uh, white pen today. Okay, so I'm gonna put a different piece of paper though underneath my page in this book because I don't want it to bleed through onto the other page. That would not be good. We put a page through here. Okay, so we've got this book already set up. Here's my page I'm coloring to, um, I was gonna say, thought I had the wrong book for a second there. Here's the page I'm coloring today. Let's put a page behind this one. My goodness, I feel like I'm setting up like a, I don't even know. This is a lot of work today. I feel like we've got a lot of setup going. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I've got my Crayola Super Tips. I have them in a basket because the box just kind of like bit the dust. First thing I'm gonna do is start out with my boat. And they do not have names on them and they do not have numbers on them. So you could name them whatever you wanted or you could not. So here's my turquoise color. I'm gonna call it a little bit of a turquoise color. Um, I think I would say that these are very, they would almost would bleed through the edge. So here's kind of a little tip to do if you wanted to um, make sure you stayed in the lines. Kind of do like a little bit of an outline next to the black line of the area that you're coloring. And then when you color the rest of it, the rest of the area there, the, the color will not go past that. So it's kind of like a little, it creates like a little barrier for you. So the color will not go past that area that you've colored because sometimes you can put um, something, you can put a, a color down on a piece of paper on a page and it will start to like bleed out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I kind of put that there, it almost like it kind of runs, it still kind of goes away. How much is which book, Shanna? Shanna's asking me which book, how much is the book? Scarlet's View is eleven ninety nine, and Color Along Ten is fourteen ninety nine, and how much are the other books? I do not know how much they are on Amazon right now because they were. I think they're nine ninety nine for the Color Chop books because they were just actually. I think they were on sale. Now I'm going to use my yellow. Kind of a deep yellow, isn't it? See if I can just keep this over to the side for my sales. So, hey, if you guys want to see um, Marianne, you should drop a link to your Facebook page because I took a look at Marianne McCarthy's Facebook page this morning and took saw the artwork that she creates and so beautiful. Take a look. Marianne, feel free to drop a link in the comments. Um, let everyone see what's happening. Send some likes over to your uh, Facebook page. That would be awesome. So this is kind of a pink color that I've got going on here. And I think I'll go with my hearts as pink. And then you could leave areas of the page white too. So I have a Cyber Monday day sale happening today because today is Cyber Monday. Today is all about electronic sales and anything that's a non-physical, sometimes anything that's a non-physical item, right? So my Black, my Black Friday, my Cyber Monday sale today um, let me just pull that up, actually, so you guys can see what my Cyber Mon Monday sale is today. We can talk about it for a, for a quick minute. Uh, Cyber Monday sale today is happening today, and it actually um, ends tomorrow morning. Yeah, drop the link, Marianne, for sure. Um, the Cyber, link, Cyber Monday sale uh, happens today until uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, at noon Eastern time. Because I hate ending a sale at midnight, because I'm not going to stay up until midnight just to end a sale. It's crazy. So this sale um, is happening uh, today and it's uh, coloring classes and painting classes that are on demand. And um, 
it's five, this 10 classes that you get in this bundle. And we did a column along the other day. I did a live column along the other day. And when we got to 150 shares of the video, I gave this away. And Julie Moore Rhodes is the, was the winner of this. And um, this is an incredible deal. It's regularly $160, but for today until tomorrow at noon, it's only $39.99. And you get five coloring classes. You get grayscale basics, grayscale elements, advanced colored pencil, hair coloring class, and a doodling techniques class. And you also get five painting classes. This is all on demand, um, classes that I've taught in the past, so you can watch them anytime. So this is a really good deal to have, maybe if you want to have kids do it over Christmas vacation or a nice snowy day, you just kind of want to binge watch coloring classes. Uh, Field of Lilacs painting, Still Life with Pitcher, Little Bluebird, that's Heather's favorite, right, Heather? Uh, Gobble Turkey and Let It Snow painting. So those are the 10 classes that are available today, only today till tomorrow. Um, at noon Eastern time for $39.99 on my website. And you can just go to my website, click on classes, and you'll see um, a link to this bundle. It's $39.99 for this bundle. I think it's an incredible deal because it makes them like four bucks each. And they last about an hour to an hour and a half. Everything comes with a PDF packet that you can print out. So that you, it's kind of like a lesson booklet that you can follow along in the video. And then the painting classes come with a template. So anybody can do it. Anyone can paint it. Um, it is just uh, step by step. So let me uh, switch back over to where we belong today, right? Let me see. Okay. So we're back to coloring. So check that out. If anyone has any questions about it, they can certainly let me know. Um, all right. So we're on to the next thing here. Let's see. Um, let me get rid of this message in the corner of my screen here. All right. So. Here, I'm going to do this divide. I call it the divider line with this purple color. And I swatch as I go. I don't swatch as I am. Like, I don't swatch the whole thing. <clears throat> Who is joining? So, Marianne dropped a link. by Christina. I didn't even see Christina. Um, Marianne has dropped a link to that Facebook, to her Facebook page, and check that out. So, that is really awesome. Thanks for joining us today, Marianne. Um, so... I'm just kind of doing this divider line and I swatch as I go. I don't swatch um, at like all ahead of time. That's just too too planned out for me. Sometimes planning is a, is just overrated. I feel like the more I plan, the more I'm, I set myself up uh, that, hey, maybe I don't want to do that at that time. <laughs> you ever, anybody else feel like that? It's like, do I really want to plan on a plan to do that? I'm not really sure. Move this down a little bit. Can we see the page okay? Because I know sometimes I end up putting it in the wrong spot and then you guys tell me, hey, move that page. It's like that show. Remember that show with uh, Ty Pennington where they redid the, the house and they said, move that bus. Did anyone watch that show? I'm going to swatch my purple here. And then I think I'm going to go with this kind of brownish color. I'm always attracted to this color. I don't know why. It's kind of ugly in a way, but it's a good brown. Plans never work. They don't. I know. They really don't. I don't understand why. All right, so I've got this color here, this kind of brownish color. I think I'll go with um, what's here. I love brown and light blue together. Does anybody, else, what, do you guys have a favorite color combo? I mean, I really like brown and light blue. I like how brown and pink looks together too. Um, I actually was coloring a page from my Snowman Frenzy book. I've challenged myself to finish the whole book because you guys have inspired me because people are finishing entire books. Uh, this weekend, uh, Jonah Longnecker finished uh, Butterfly, not Butterfly Mandela's, Christmas Coloring Book for All and I made a YouTube video of it, and Lynn Miller finished Dazzling Mandalas, and it is absolutely beautiful. Both of them are. Um, Ty Pennington gives Chris hot flashes. Okay, Chris. I, I think that might be TMI, right? Um, so now I'm totally forgetting what the heck I was even saying. What was I even saying? Oh, so if you finish a whole book that I I've uh, published, and, it's on, and you've bought one of my books, and you finish the whole book, send me all the pictures and I will create a YouTube video of it. 
So we have so many of them already done. I can't even believe it. There's a lot. And I've never finished a whole book. I've never colored one of my own books in, in, in its entirety. So I've challenged myself to color um, all of Snowman Frenzy. So last night I was coloring with uh, gel pens and I decided to limit my color palette and I picked some really oddball colors. Um, hey Janita, brown and light blue are nice. Aren't they pretty like that? Um, so I challenged myself with a kind of a limited color palette and one of them was a brown gel pen. So I thought it looked pretty together. I did another page with my my new pencil, Spera Farben. I hope I'm saying that right. Think I'm saying that right? Am I saying that right? Does anybody know? Okra and lilac. Oh, that's a good one too, MK. That is a really nice one, actually. Um, he has kind of like a deep red color, I guess this would be called. I don't even know if I would call that completely red, but it's a, kind of like a red color. Um, and I guess I'll, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add dots here. Just to kind of give it a little bit of oomph. A little bit of pizzazz. Because we don't just color up areas with solid colors. You gotta kind of shake them up a little. Did you miss the Hanukkah vid video, Abby? You can still go back and watch it, but it's not the same as it is live, right? You know, I looked at my calendar the other day to find out when Hanukkah was, and it said it was on December 8th. That's all it said. I must have like a, a, a defective calendar. Because then I realized that it's not just on December 8th, it's December 2nd to the 10th, right? It sounds better when you say it, Chris. Yeah, I think I'm saying it right. I hope. I don't have that German accent to say it though, right? So I'll have to say it with my my Boston New England accent. Hey, Marianne, they always laugh at me because of how of my accent. So you're close to me, so you probably have the same accent as I do. And uh, it probably doesn't even bother you when I say something like pop the car or leba, right? Or wicked. Um, but everyone gives me a hard time. So it gets, I get like, uh, they tease me when I say the word. Like, instead of saying orange, I say orange. So it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny that they all tease me. It's okay. I have thick skin. I can take it, you guys. What is December 3rd? I'm so confused by all this. I thought it was December 2nd. Orange. Exactly. A wicked bad accent, too. See? See? It's crazy, isn't it? It's really not an accent. They just want to be like us. It's all. You guys just want to be like us. Where you can park the car in Harvard Yard. With a, with a wicked leather supermarket. Dia, see? Dia says it too. Dia's from New Jersey. She says it too. See? Oh, you guys. All right, this is kind of like a dark blue color. Would be funny to have a conversation if Dia co-hosted with me, wouldn't it? She has, I think her accent is much stronger than mine. I mean, even I can hear it. And you know what? It's even different um, uh, as you get to different parts of New England, too. It's not just, it's not all the same. Like, if you're really, like, in the Boston area, it's different than if you're, like, even where I am, or even as you get to southern, to, like, South County of Rhode Island, it's a little different. But we all say the same, you know. It's chowder with an A, not chowder. Okay, so there's my blue color. I'm going to pull in some lavender. It doesn't bother me where you say orange. My aunt used to say it that say it that way. December first is second is the first light. Okay, great. This is kind of a lavender color. I'm gonna put it with this blue. That looks pretty together too, doesn't it? But I think I definitely need to add some okra into here. 
kind of just to accent it. So this is everything that Scarlett sees when she looks out the window. And let me tell you, she has got like a job going on. Um, my dad is from Boston. He grew up there. He went to MIT. Oh, how cool. And he went to Brown. Very cool, Heather. What did he study at Brown and MIT and Brown? I mean, Brown is just like five minutes for me. I mean, not five. Well, yeah, maybe ten. Okay, there's my lavender color. We need kind of an okra color. I don't know what it would be. Could it be this one? That could be okra. Or maybe this one. This, maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. Oh, no, that's the one I already used. I think these are actually the same thing. Hmm. I don't know if I have a good okra in here. But I do have our friend, Orange. Where were you? Where did you live in Massachusetts, Heather? Wow, he must be extremely smart, Heather, right? Cheryl says, I do too. I'm from New Jersey. We say coffee different too. Exactly. See, Cheryl? Cheryl knows. Those, that Jersey accent is even worse, right? I'm going to add some orange here. People want to be like the, the Northeast people, don't you think, Cheryl? And Marianne, they want we all they all want to have our the way we say things the way we do. I should do a coloring book with all different uh, the words like the New England speak words, um, and it could be all different things like I don't know, orange chowder, leather, dollar, like that. That would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? For some reason, my video keeps ending. Yeah, somebody else said that it was ending. I don't know why that keeps happening. Oh, it could be from the internet being so busy today. That's a good point. Thank you, Chris. Chris is always our resident expert in uh, troubleshooting what the heck is going on in the world. She's like our common sense. Uh, this is why this is happening, people. Uh, do we need to be hit over the head? Right? Here's some yellow. I'm going to put just this yellow here. A little ray of sunshine right there, peeking through. Just kind of one little yellow thing right there. And then as far as my windowsill of that I've got going on, I don't know what other color oh i love this green this is a pretty color make a coloring book with the words that would be pretty funny wouldn't it um i'm gonna do a hand lettering class and that would be kind of funny to do hand lettering for um all those different crazy sayings i'll have to talk to uh some area friends to figure out what we say that might be different See, it's that green color. And I'm not going to go behind the boat. I'm going to leave it the way it is. My little sailboat. Uh, by the way, we don't really see a sailboat sailing past the window at my house. Um, yeah, it's going to be like the heavy traffic on the internet today. Let's, let's, have, let's send some positive vibes to Amazon, huh? Because Amazon needs to keep up, people. I know their sale reporting is sales reporting is very very behind because when I went to check to see what my sales were from yesterday I sold zero, um, zero books yesterday. And, and let me tell you that's not uncommon to have a day with zero sales. I don't sell a book every single day, believe me. But um, I do know that some people said to me that they had ordered something yesterday. So I do know if you've told me you've ordered it, then I know. Other than that, I don't. Here's a blue color that I've already used, so I'm not, I'm not going to swatch it. Is it windy? It was windy at my house the other day. So who had snow? Scarlet's on the job with something going on out there. I don't know what it is. Um, who had snow yesterday? Anybody have snow? Bonnie Miller, did you have snow? Did you have snow, Bonnie Hughes and Chris? I saw on the news a video of... Uh, in Illinois, I don't know what part it was, but it was pretty bad. The traffic. Okay, I'm gonna use this lime green color next. I 
How's it going, Bonnie Hughes? I think I'll put, um, I don't know where I'm gonna put the screen. I guess I'll put it right here. Oh, that's not bad. So my friend Paisley is still hobbling a little bit with her hurt, hurt, hurt paw, but check this out. Yesterday, I looked at her paw, she's hobbling. I'm thinking, oh, I gotta take her to the vet if this doesn't get any better. And we inspected it and she didn't like me inspecting it. I think I might've used this already, that's okay. And anyway, I went to let her out. She was limping like crazy. I let, I let her outside. I gotta take her away from the window. Tennessee in Nashville. I don't know what's out there. Nothing, actually. Probably a cat walking by. Cat patrol. You only got two inches of snow, Bonnie? Boy, isn't it crazy when you see these videos about how bad things are? It's amazing how we're just all so connected that we can actually see <coughs> that much of what's happening everywhere, isn't it? This is a darker, a darker brown. Holly is saying that we had... Uh, had rain and windy, then it turned to snow. Did you, did this, uh, was there snow on the ground? Hey, Karen. I'm going to give this uh, window frame some a brown color. The window frame that, uh, the trim around the window that Scarlett usually uh, sits at is uh, like a cream color. So, but uh, this one, in this fantasy page, we're going to use it with this brown color to make it look like wood. get this top portion here up here these pens are good because they have a chiseled tip so that you can get a uh, broader area coverage or you can actually get a tinier area so they're very versatile and the other thing when you're coloring with markers is that you can kind of create a texture in this direction when you color in a different direction so for example, I went this way, this kind of horizontally to kind of make that wood grain look like it's going that way. But on the windowsill, I'm kind of doing this like in an angle. And if you can tell, I don't know if you can see it, but let me pull it a little bit closer. You can see how it's almost creating like a wood grain effect just by doing that. And then when I get to the, uh, like, what is this called? No, that's not the sash, but that's like, we'll call it the edge. There we go. Just kind of getting in that area. And you can kind of get it so that it looks almost like wood by doing that. I was watching Channel 2 online and he said to ignore it. What are we ignoring? Oh, the tornado sirens? Oh, I'm so glad we live in an area where there's tornadoes. However, sometimes, the, sometimes there are tornadoes. I'm gonna get rid of these crazy comments across the bottom there. All right, so here's another green color, a darker green. And I'm gonna use this bottom top portion here. And I kind of like green and light blue together, too. How about you guys? So this book is Scarlet's book, but Paisley has her own book, too. We don't want to leave Paisley out. 
Every single one of my screens was covered with snow. It was so freaky. We had a storm like, that's what Chris is saying. We had a storm like that in this area one time and it almost, it started to make me feel claustrophobic and I don't get claustrophobic, but it was weird. I felt like I couldn't breathe, Chris. Hey, Lynn Miller. Um, it was the craziest feeling. It felt like it was taking all of the oxygen away from my area. It was very, very creepy. I went around because of the wind, right? Because it was a blizzard. I went around and, um, uh, like knocked off the snow on every screen. I didn't like it. Did it make you feel weird? Okay, so I'm going to leave this top area with white, that section that's there. And now I'm going to work on my curtains. Now, the curtains that are hanging on the wall right now at those windows are actually a um, brownish color. Bonnie says, I love the picture. Thank you. Um, bon we are getting 12 inches of snow here in New Hampshire starting later today and all night. Get out. Really, Bonnie? See, Chris, I'm glad I didn't, wasn't the only one. That, I'm sorry that you felt like that about it, but it was weird, wasn't it? I didn't like it at all. It was a very crazy feeling. Okay, I'm going to give this uh, curtain this color right here, this uh, lavender color. And then this area here. Hey, so if you are part of the Just Call a Coloring group, I um, there is an event that's going to be happening called, uh, oh, what the heck is the name of it? Carol Blaze is running it on the Just Call a Coloring group. And the name is escaping me right now. Isn't that awful that I can't remember it? What the heck is happening to me? <coughs> hey, dear. Dear Linehan is here with us this morning. Good morning, good morning, my friend. Dia is another fellow artist with coloring books. Her coloring books are awesome. Dia does a lot of videos, a lot of YouTube videos, right, Dia? Um, with different coloring techniques. I always love listening to your accent, Dia, because every, we were just talking about you, actually. We were just talking about how um, how everyone kind of teases me about my accent, and they said, that's okay, because Dia's has Dia has the same type of accent as you. How's it going, Dia? How's the coloring book business, coloring book world treating you these days? What an incredible journey this is, this coloring book business. Let me tell you, I was actually thinking about it this morning. I don't know what happened to me this morning, but, I, and I'm sure that uh, many people that are watching this video can relate, and I'm sure Dia can completely relate to this too. Um, lately, my hands have been in so much pain. I think it's really kind of like the weather. I know, I don't have an accent. Thank you, Dia. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Um, I think that I was listening to, I was looking at, taking a look at my hands today because they were just in a lot of pain. And I don't know, it just kind of struck me that isn't it amazing what gifts everyone is given and that they can actually, uh, do with those gifts. And I just thought to myself, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's not that I've been, I've never been appreciative of the fact that I can draw, but it just kind of hit me this morning about how awesome that is. Are you, do you, are you, do you find yourself in awe of that, dear? Yeah. Um, when that happens, I love watching Dia's videos too, but I don't watch them enough. I'm not good at doing pre-recorded videos like that, Dia. I don't know. I think I need the live audience. I just started a podcast a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, maybe a month. Has it been a month? And that it has no audience. So I just have to, I pretend that I'm, I'm talking to all of you while I do, while I record my, my podcast. And I'm just really kind of standing there, reading from a script, reading from something I wrote. Um, and I've also, I've also learned that reading from a script is just not for me. I need to wing it. Dia says, great, I love it all. Yes, 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 everyone is given something. We just need to figure out what it is sometimes. Exactly, that's the purpose of life, right? Is to find your gift and then give it away. To find your what and find your why. I was watching this video the other day that was talking about that, actually. And it was talking about um, that 
what is it and why do you do it? So the what for me would be uh, um, coloring and drawing in coloring books. And the why would be just sharing all of it with all of you. Like sharing these color alongs and... Um, but, you know, it's not something you do just for... I don't know. You, you do it for many more reasons that are really kind of in, not even explainable. Heather says, I like your podcast. Thank you, Heather. Did you listen to the latest one, Technology as an Extension of Man? Um, I know it was a little out there, but I'm not sure what the next topic will be. Maybe my next topic should be about how to actually visualize that gift that you have um, and find that purpose or how to actually uh, take whatever you have and visualize it happening when it comes to art. Because art, to me, creating art is 80% uh, confidence and 20% ability to do it. <clears throat> and you always make the pictures pop. Love this one. Thank you. Dia went live on Halloween and it was awesome. Oh, no, I think I missed it. Yeah, the what and the why, idea. I, I forgot what the heck it was. It was a video I saw on Facebook. I wish I had saved it. Um, you know, to find your purpose. To purpose of life is to find your gift and then give it away. And it doesn't mean you have to give it away like you're just like giving stuff away and you're never ever going to make any money. Um, <laughs> dear, thank you, dear. There's a lot happening behind the scenes, right? A lot. Go I don't know. Sometimes it's really exhausting. It's going doing a live video is like draining. Like it's probably the most exhausting thing I've ever done. Um, by the end of it, I'm like. My head's in the fog. People will be having a conversation with me like later on in the afternoon or like that hour afterwards. And I'm like, just like not with it. I don't know. I don't know how else to get rid of the... I can't just like sit there and do nothing because it's an adrenaline rush, right? Miriam is saying, thank you, Anne. I've loved hanging out with you all. Thank you, thankful for our new friendship. You've inspired me. Yeah, you know, you were making a comment. You The comment that you made to me, I don't want to say it live, but the comment that you made to me earlier... Um, all I can say about that is that you need to, um, let me see if I can put this the right way. When I first started, uh, making art, right? I use, can I watch a podcast at here? Where can I watch a podcast? Go to my website, Holly, go to my website, um, anmanera.com and you can click on podcast. There's a link right there. Sarah's saying, I watch this meeting and it helps for, it helps for therapy of all kinds. Isn't it amazing? Linda's saying, I'm glad you invited us to color with you. I need the companionship in the coloring world. You know, when I first started making my art, this is what I was thinking about this morning too. When I first started like really kind of committing to, okay, this is what I want to do, right? Way before coloring books. I remember sitting um, in silence all by myself. And it was like I was pretending, right? Kind of like that whole Wayne Dyer thing about uh, Wayne Dyer as if. Live as if. Live as if you would like the, the way you would like your life to be. And I try to do that. It doesn't always happen. Um, my life is not always doing that. But um, you could definitely try to live as if, right? You could definitely um, be able to attract it into your life. Hey, Dia, do you have these pencils? Shapiro Farben. Oh, my God. I'm in love. I think that my heart beats faster when I open, open up these pencils. Yesterday when I got them out, I just kind of looked at them and I was petting them. <laughs> it was crazy. Do you have these, dear? I'm going to take this um, blue, which is called cobalt blue. Oh, it's such a great color. And white. And I'm going to do my background with them. So first I'm going to take my cobalt blue pencil and I'm just going to uh, give it a background. And this is just regular coloring book paper. Um, so they are as grainy as you want them to be or as creamy as you want them to be. But the color goes on so nice. It's an oil-based pencil. And Spira Farben is going to be uh, sponsoring a giveaway. And I'm going to set it up today. I'll set it up later today, actually. Um, so that you guys can win a set of these pencils. And then Spira Farben will also be just sponsoring two of these pencils to be given away. Giveaway during coloring camp. So if you sign up for coloring camp... Um, you could win a set of these pencils. Two people are going to win a set of these pencils, actually. And there'll be um, giveaways for uh, um, Black Widow pencils also and for a few other different companies, too. <clears throat> they have a lot of greens in them, actually. Sarah's asking if they have greens. You, oh, I didn't see that one. These are Spira Farben colored pencils, Barb. They are beautiful. I didn't know you had a video of these, dear. 
it's so great when another artist joins in and watches. It makes me a little nervous, actually, but it's always so great. So I'm actually going to take my white, and look how creamy that is. It's nice and creamy. I like how the pencil has the color at the top of it like that, and then it has the name and the number. It's a good coverage. This is kind of a medium pressure. Uh, but if you are a colored pencil fan, I would definitely add these to my, my toolbox, let me tell you. Um, I like colored pencils more than I like markers. You can do so much with a colored pencil. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that like it is. And I can't forget my white. My white. And now I'm gonna add my white on top of this to kind of create a different color. Look at how that's creating that different color and it's blending it. They're much longer than other pencils, so they feel it anyway. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination. They feel a little bit longer. Look how that's blending, blending, blending. Dia is saying, oh yes, thank goodness they are back. I'll be doing a giveaway with them soon too. Can't wait to get the new set with the names and numbers. Yeah, this is the one with the names and the, and the numbers. Um, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. They were out of stock, right? I wanted these for so long. I tried to get them last year and then they were out of stock and then I got in touch with her and uh, asked if she wanted to get involved with coloring camp and she was like, yes. I'm like, oh my God, really? So I started to, it's just crazy what happens. So I've got a lot of other companies on my list today to get in touch with um, to do giveaways for Coloring Camp. Moped, uh, who else? Sakura, I gotta call Sakura today. Um, Black Widow said yes. Nice and creamy. They have a little bit of an odor to them, but it's really not that bad. And they sharpen well. I'm going to sharpen this in my electric pencil sharpener. The number on this pencil is 010. On the white. And the number on the blue, Cheryl, is 440. And then I'm going to take my white pen... And I'm going to add some accents. Oh, almost dropped it. <gasps> don't want to drop it. I don't want to break the lead inside it. They blend, cra they blend crazy good. Bad grammar, but I love them. Coloring camp sounds great. Yeah, coloring camp. We're going on the third coloring camp. You're right. They blend crazy good. That is a good description, actually. <laughs> the blending is incredible. Incredible. Um, and, you know, if you've never, if you're used to using um, artist quality colored pencils, um, you know, when you walk into like Dick Lick or Jerry's or all the art supply store, I'm sure Dee has done this before. And you just kind of look, look around and you just kind of take a deep breath and, and say, I have reached heaven. I mean, it's not like going to Michael's or going to Hobby Lobby or any of the old, all those places. Um, it's totally different when you go walk into an art supply store. I mean, I remember going to the art supply store when I was a kid, when I was in art school and um, we went to one all the time. It was near RISD. And the one that I went to when, we, I didn't go to RISD, but I've taken uh, a few classes at RISD. But the one that we went to all the time um, was near RISD. And it was back in the day before like credit cards or computers or anything. And we had this little card that was uh, like our, our card for our account. It was a piece of cardboard. It was just actually chipboard. And we went in and we would say, okay, put this on my tab. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I like the smelly art supplies too. I agree with you, Marianne. I'm taking my little white pen and I'm just going to add some white dots. Only to the pink area though. I don't want it to go too crazy. I mean, you can give it like a calico print on these curtains. Kind of make it a sweet looking little thing. Yeah, it's true, right? Getting, it's like, ooh, I was watching, um, Dia's funny. I was watching, that's a good comment, Dia. Dia, I was watching uh, that show Grace and Frankie, Gracie and Frankie, or Frankie and Gracie, whatever the heck it's called, on Netflix. And Frankie said that uh, she took, she went on, a, it was one episode, she said that this was the best day today. I went to Whole Foods and I went to Jerry's Art Supply. It was like a day from heaven. 
And I'm thinking to myself, that would be a great day. And around here, Jerry's and Whole Foods are like right next door to each other. I need to do a Jerry's and Whole Foods trip. Okay, so there's my dots. You feel like a kid going to a toy store. It is. Where do I sign up for coloring camp? I missed it. Oh, Karen, let me tell you. Coloring camp. Go to my website, amanera.com, or you can just go on Amazon and you can get the link. I'm going to pop the link for the book. Let's pop the link for the book. Here's what you do. You go to Amazon. You buy the coloring camp book. Let's get the book, the link. I'm going to link you. And uh, coloring, coloring camp is $19.99, and you... Uh, get the book you send me a receipt or a picture of the book or some sort of proof of purchase and you um this white thing dear is this jock pen it's a correction pen i bought it at the dollar store they were two for a buck um the winter coloring camp is on amazon or on my website and then you send me the receipt like alexandra is replying to karen and telling her thank you alexandria and you, uh, I let you into the private group. It's the Coloring Camp group book, uh, Coloring Camp group on Facebook. Every day we meet at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We do a color live coloring tutorial. And um, you can either color twice or you can share with a friend with this book because there's two copies of every page. Let me get my folder and I'll show you what's happening for Coloring Camp. So Coloring Camp, um, this page is done. I'm gonna put this aside. Yeah, that's my um, my little white jock pandia. It's kind of crazy. It's like a buck. Not even a buck. I think it was two in a pack. I saw that video, the Faber-Castell color pencil one. I love that video. This is Winter Coloring Camp. Let's talk about this for a minute. Winter Coloring Camp is happening January 20th to 26th, 1999, to get in for the week. It gets you the whole thing. And you can watch the videos over and over and over again. So if you feel like, hey, I need to do something and Netflix is boring, then you just need to uh, binge watch Coloring Camp because why not? You just need to uh, do it that way. So um, Sunday, January 20th, we are shading flowers and leaves. And then on, the, on January 21st, on Monday, we're going to color with graphite, the monochromatic theme. And on Tuesday, we'll be doing pointillism. And on Wednesday, we'll be tackling grayscale illustration. We'll also be doing a stained glass effect with crayons and blending oil, which could be baby oil or olive oil or uh, vegetable oil, whatever oil you want, not car oil, but anything that is like uh, something you could consume or put on your body would be good. Uh, watercolor pencils will happen on Friday and then um, grayscale photograph will happen on Saturday. So let's see what's happening. There's other things that you'll need for this coloring camp, but you can use any brand of colored pencils, markers, watercolor pencils, chalk pastels, crayons. You'll need a number two pencil, so you need to have make sure you have that. Um, you need some sort of oil to blend, baby oil or cooking oil, um, a small paintbrush to use with the watercolor pencils. You need a cup of water and you need some cotton swabs to blend with the blending oil. So I have camp t-shirts and sweatshirts that are available. Um, on Amazon that are kind of companion ones. I will be having um, keychains and zipper pulls with igloos on them that are like these that are now available on my website. Uh, part of the art themed uh, jewelry that's making its way to my website that I'm designing myself and making and making these myself. This one has a box of crayons. This one has a little palette. These are on my website now. Hey Judy. So here are the pages in the book. We've got shading with colored pencils with this floral wreath. And then we'll be doing this mandala in graphite and monochromatic. All the pages for Coloring Camp book were uh, drawn exclusively for Coloring Camp. This one is pointillism with markers. Here's a drawing on the grayscale illustration page uh, with, that we'll be using chalk pastels. This page will be tackling the stained glass effect. And we'll be using watercolor pencils, and we have a little worksheet that we'll be working on, and then we'll, we'll be uh, completing this page right here. And then we'll be completing this grayscale photograph. And then we have a coloring challenge, and the coloring challenge um, page is this one right here. This is actually my dog, Willie, who is no longer with me, but this is from uh, his character from uh, his kid's book called Eat, Sleep, Wag. And then we have a color together where every morning a new color is posted on the group and an action step. So maybe one morning may say, um, 
uh, it may say uh, color with the color pink and sing out loud, that type of thing. The uh, keychain slash zipper pulls are available for shipping only in the U.S. at this time, and they're $9.99 with shipping. Then the book also has activity pages. There's a journal page. There's a maze page. Word search. This imagination workout page, which is similar to my imagination workout book. A coloring page. A word scramble. And then we have swatch charts in the book because we'll be swatching our colors. Um, and for those of you that have received the book already, people are saying how much they love it so much. Notes. Um, it, it's it's going to be fun. I can't wait for it because it's going to be happening at a time where, um, here in the U.S. anyway, it's winter. It's cold. You know, we'll meet every morning at 10 a.m. You can watch if you missed the video live. You can watch the video over again and over again and over again. So nothing to do one night. Don't worry about Netflix. Just binge watch Colin Camp, right? Judy says, I love this book. I cannot wait until camp. Okay, so I know I can't wait either, Judy. So this is uh, the page that we color today. This is markers with a white pen, and it can also be found in my Scarlet's View book. Where is Scarlet's View? It made it to another place. Can also be found in Scarlet's View, which is available on Amazon. I swatched my colors today in this morning's color along meeting. If you have any questions, Karen, just let me know. Um, I swatched my colors in the coloring page color chart book. This is also available on Amazon. This book is $9.99. You can go ahead and this let, lets you swatch your colors. You could use it for any artist. You don't have to use it for just me. You can buy Dia's books and you can use it for hers. You can use it for anybody's books. Um, so it has pages to swatch your colors. There's a hundred, um, hundred pages in this book to swatch your colors. <clears throat> and that's about it. So today we use Color Along Volume 10. Let's find Color Along Volume 10. The next Color Along we have is scheduled for, I gotta say, there is a typo on this page. And we need to fix that because it's bugging me. On this one right here, it says crayons. It says 1217. This is actually the 15th. I don't know why it says that. Apparently, my proofreaders, a.k.a. the dogs, do not are not doing their job when they edit my work. <coughs> I know, Dawn, we missed you. Um, so we've got, uh, we already did grayscale colored pencils under our belt. We did markers with white pen today. And then on Wednesday, the 28th, this one right here, we are coloring grayscale with colored pencils. Let me see where that page is. Um, where are you? Where are you, grayscale with colored pencils? Let's find that one. That was all rocks. That's going to be a fun one. We're going to be able to kind of really play with this one today on Wednesday, um, creating, coloring some textures. Hey, thanks, Marianne. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back. I'll be back with a live coloring along on Wednesday. Um, doing this page right here and then on friday i'll be back for a column along coloring page from dawn boyer's book uh fairy houses and fairy doors volume five can you believe just five volumes of that book and there's a giveaway for that one too i believe on that day and then on sunday uh, i have a column along with the page from nola hensel's robot fashion show and we're doing a giveaway for that too that's going to be a big one for that there's going to be um oh i could color a rock like it's been painted thank you dawn that's a good idea um, hey, thanks for joining today, Dia. Pop in anytime. I'm always live Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So anytime you want to pop in, give us, just pop in. We need to do something together after the new year and uh, do some sort of joint venture, joint event. I don't know. Um, but I'm coloring for NOLA on Sunday, the 2nd, and we're going to have something about, um, uh, something like the share thing that we did, you know? I know, I need to do a color along for Dia. Exactly. I left that part empty, um, Bonnie. Bonnie saying that I missed that section. I'm leaving that. Do you think that looks bad that I did that? Yeah, we'll have to get in touch, Dia. We'll have to figure it out. Um, I'll have to, uh, I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to leave the water white. Just to add some white. Because I want the white to be in there. Just to kind of pop. Kind of makes your eyes move around. You know, when you add different colors throughout the page in different areas, it creates a rhythm across 
I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll speak like in the, uh, you know, the artist critique speak. Remember those, dear, in art school when they would do a critique? Well, how awful was that, right? You'd stand up in front of everyone. So you go to art school, okay? So this is probably the reason why most artists have no confidence or most artists are lacking in co lacking confidence about their art. Because when you're in art school, you create, you, you create a project, right? You finish a project, project for whatever class assignment it is. And then you pin it up on the wall. And then your classmates critique it. Remember how awful that was? Talk about standing up in front of a class and in front of a group of people and totally being <laughs> ripped to shreds. And people are truthful. They're not like, ooh, that looks nice. It's not like in the coloring community where everyone is like pumping you up and giving you a lot of positive reinforcement and a positive, lot of positive feedback. It's probably 90% uh, criticism and 10% positive, 10% something good. It is really like, um, it's tough. I don't think I could do it. In a mission statement, oh my God, have you? I don't think I've ever even written a mission statement. I think I still have to write a mission statement. I don't have a mission statement for myself. I don't have like an artist statement. It changes all the time. But yeah, that credit, that whole critique thing. Oh, let me tell you, if the coloring book world, um, I'm leaving it like that. I'm missed. I'm not missed. You guys are ruthless today. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving it. <laughs> Um, if that, um, critique thing happened in the coloring book world, you'd really have some people just like cowering under the covers because it was, um, I, I don't know. I don't know how I got through it. And Dia is saying that nobody knows what they're even talking. Exactly. Nobody knows what they're even talking about because they are in the same boat as you in art school. These are your peers. They're not like the professors. Um, they're not like the the person instructing you you don't have like a professional artist that's standing next to you telling you what's wrong with it they are just like they're just they're not nice it's just awful and you do it to each other um and i remember one critique during my uh during grad school where i had to do a go to a critique for a film that i had done and somebody in the class did a film and he took a professional clip he clearly did not film what he had on the screen um, and people didn't say a word and I'm like, why aren't they saying anything? That is, he stole that. That's not even stock footage. It looked like it was from a commercial. Um, Dawn is saying, maybe that's why I never went to art school. I, yeah. It's very mean. It's just like, um, I don't know. It's probably the reason why I, I sit there and go, man, this looks like crap. Right, dear? It's like, this looks awful. <laughs> it's like, you kind of like, uh, it's, it's. It reminds me of like when you watch like American Idol with Simon Cowell and he kind of criticizes them and he's really brutally honest. Um, I don't know. I mean, not everyone does everything great, but it's still crazy. Uh, Chris is saying, I would ask them for directions to get to the nearest tall bridge that I can jump off when they were done with me. Well, you know, a lot of depressed people, you know, like the more um, emotion you feel, the more creative you end up becoming. So I don't know why they do it. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's, it's brutal. Let me tell you, um, it's not a fun thing. I mean, I can't imagine, uh, I don't know what other profession there is. I don't know what other thing you can go to college for that does that. Maybe doctors? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Pay no attention to the critics. Exactly. Pay no attention to the critics. Never read the reviews, right? This is what I've learned. Dia, must, Dia you must agree with this. Never read the reviews. Dia, you need to co-host with me one day. We can just like, like, I don't know, talk shop type thing, right? Um, never read the reviews, never, um, listen to the critics, never listen to the naysayers and never ever look at what the competition is doing, right? Like I was watching something last night, um, that was kind of the competition and thinking like, I can't look at your stuff, Dia, and say, because it's sometimes I say, man, that is just so good. I'm terrible. I have to like stay away. <laughs> you know, I have to stay away from looking at other people's drawings sometimes. Yeah, exactly. We got got to get in touch with you. I'm going to get in touch with you this week. Um Yeah, it's just crazy. You never look at the competition because if not, you get yourself into like a black hole and you just like find yourself under the covers. So, I don't know. It's like you got to find a creative outlet. Okay. Enough of my soapbox. Um, dear, it was great chatting with you and all of you also. So thanks so much for joining me this morning and I'll be back on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Have a great Monday. Thanks for taking time out to uh, join me this morning and just enjoy the day. Thank you.